Madrid blocs seeking to skirt geopolitical risk by French shoring activities to like-minded countries should be careful which commerce partners they favor. This is coming from the World Trade Organization chief Ngozi okonjo uwela U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yelling and others have used the term to encourage countries to diversify supply chains away from China to market-oriented democracies such as India. Speaking on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Davos, Okonjo Iwela urged caution. Well, I said two, there are two things about French shoring. One, I said, who is a friend? A friend today, you're not so sure there'll be a friend tomorrow. We've seen examples of that, so let's be careful. Second, if we're thinking of building resilience uh, by going out to different uh, friends, let's also include those, yes, in Africa, why not? I mean, friends should not be just in Asia. There's Latin America, uh, there's Africa. Africa, there are countries there that can perfectly uh, be places where you deconcentrate manufacturing. You bring them into the global supply chain, and that way you also include them. Let's also include those, yes, in Africa, why not? I mean, friends. And over the 75 years since the uh, GATT, the Global Agreement on Tariffs and Trade, it has delivered. It's brought people out of poverty, it's brought prosperity to a great part of the world, not just China or Asia, but also to the US, to, e to the EU and the developed countries. So um, I always caution, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. The WTO has rules that underpin this trade. If you do it outside, you're in for a free for all. And I don't think that will be to the benefit of anyone, not the developed countries, not to talk of what it would mean for emerging markets and developing countries.